I'm Black Douglas. I'm a Koori artist based in Sydney. And my homeland is Dungati country in Kempsey. As a First Nation person, you wake up with politics at the fore. How I address a blank canvas, there's always a comment to be made. That's how I feel I've done my justice to society. Today we conducted a workshop that I call the Anatomy of the Cloud, and we create one of my famed flat bottom clouds. We've been lacking for many years regarding First Nations content in the curriculum. And so my workshop dispels a lot of stereotypes of Aboriginal art. Okay, we are now ready to embark on a wondrous journey. Let's have a cultural introduction. Very important thing for Aboriginal people, most Aboriginal people who don't know where their families came from because they had unforeseen origins like my grandmother. She was taken at 14 years of age in 1924 and the government officials pulled up, snatched her, put her in the car and took her away for a period of about four years. Her man was a white fella with German blood. So that's my pop, Fred Hill, that baby dad growing into a little fella. And so we have an interesting mixed genealogy. I'm a bit like a Kellogg's variety pack. You know those little ones in the supermarket, the little boxes? Cocoa Pops, Fruit Loops, Rice Bubbles, Special K. If you chuck all those into a big bowl and put milk in there and mix it up, it's gonna still be yummy. That's me. When I was at school, at the age of the participants today, uh, was still a very racially intolerant era in Western Sydney. My pursuit of art came quite a ways after high school and it wasn't until after that that I came to Sydney and that's where my horizons expanded in terms of observing practicing artists and also visiting exhibitions that offered um, a more egalitarian outlook on society. There are several metaphors in this image that would become pertinent for my style of painting. But the most important thing is these flat bottom clouds. And they seem to be omnipresent once you get out into the middle of Australia. Flat bottom cloud remind me of a false ceiling. And the false ceiling in Australia is government. Government is white and puffy. And it floats in and casts a shadow on us for a period of four years. And then it floats away and then the next government comes in. And that's where we're going to arrive at our activity today, because I want to see you make one of these beautiful, puffy, white colonial clouds. Can you pull out your crayons if you haven't pulled them out? If I looked at like clouds were flat on the bottom, I wouldn't have thought of politics or anything, so that was really cool. I think most First Nations people wake up with the reminder that we are in a, such a luxurious existence compared to only three generations ago particularly when my grandmother was stolen. And that's a reminder that we have an ancestral responsibility, not only through education, but also in a societal sense as well. Why don't we name our clouds? But the name has to start with C. C for cloud. I want you to think about how you would like your government to be or how you observe your government today. I still don't know enough to really have an opinion on the government yet, because I still have a lot to learn. I chose cataclysmic. The last government we had really did not care about rights of certain communities, and I think that we should really improve on that. Clueless is one of my words because, like, there's so much lack of understanding and appreciation of like cultures and stuff. My word is controlling because I feel like our government tries to control everything we do. Okay, my fellow contemptuous artists, thank you for being part of the workshop today. And I hope that you punch the air when you do see a flat bottom cloud formation, which are pretty rare in Sydney town. Thank you. Thank you.